I cut down Volkswagen Combi hubs so that just the bare minimum remained and the rear upright will be fitted to the ears of the the ears that have been left behind and pressed across the hub. In addition to carrying the rear McPherson strut, the upright also carries three lower control arms. I have a block of T651 160 by 16 mil aluminium that I'm going to cut the uprights from. This hole is cut through here and pushes over the hubs. There is a steel bracket fitted here, which is in the vertical, to carry the strut. And here in the horizontal to carry the control arms. Axle is just as efficient. I've got a bit of hard work and swear ahead of me now. Curses. Faceplate time. We're right on the ragged edge of what this lathe can swing. As you can see, I've got maybe a millimetre or less clearance against the carriage. All I'm really trying to do here is tidy up the top and bottom of the upright. <laughs> Goodness, it's alloy. Cuts like butter. Still, this is ugly. And now we go for super ugly. <laughs> open it up to the diameter to accept the hub, cutting about 15 thou at a time. The technique for getting the upright onto the hubs is quite medieval. Fit though. So far, so good. First, we try with a wooden mock up of the control arm carrier. The control arm mounting brackets are going to be carved from 50 by 25 RHF 3 mil wall. These are fairly manky looking bits of steel, but they're the remnants of a lawnmower powered cart that I made. 20 years ago to have fun with the kids uh, and a little bit of nostalgia will carry that into the new build.
radius arm crush tube. You know the drill. I'm quite pleased with how they turned out. The strut bolts in and is canted over at 75 degrees. And these two aluminium tubes indicate where the control arms attach at the bottom. What I call the toe control arm there and the camber control arm there both coming back to uh, what is a reverse wishbone arrangement with their inner mounts uh, together at that point just in front of the brake. The radius rod, although it's a little hard to align it in this mock-up, comes through and attaches to the bottom centre mount there and then is carried forward to attach to a chassis member. This is just mocked up at the moment. Weight wise, uh, while it's strong, I am paying the penalty of starting with Volkswagen van parts, which are heavy in themselves. The upright and brackets and hub uh, together weigh about 4.1 kilograms. Uh, but then when I add in the drive shaft and the drive flange, which are actually quite heavy parts. The whole arrangement is pushing eight kilograms. So voila, that's all for now. My next mission is to get the engine more close, get the engine more closely into its final position and start mocking up some chassis members to see how the ergonomics work. And when that's done, I'll be able to finalise how the front suspension and the torsion bars and bell crank all factor into the equation.